Today's Monday, May 17th, and tonight we're gonna have some dinner with a couple of our friends and catch up with them because we haven't seen them since like last Christmas, so I'm excited to see them. We got back from Target not too long ago because we wanted to pick them up a little housewarming gift, and we're also gonna bring over some boba because they're making dinner for us. They're making some yummy spring rolls. gonna try some of the face decals that Donnie sent me because they seem super fun and I also want to do a little makeup look for Instagram tonight so yeah now I'm debating if I want to put some of these little thunderbolts around it or if this is already a lot um, I'm not sure but honestly I might just go crazy with it What do you guys think? Is that too much? We'll see. We'll see. I might take these off, but um, yeah, this is what the decals look like on. I made some really yummy tea. Mm, it's super sweet. I feel like I added too much sugar though. This is your daily reminder to drink some tea or some water and stay hydrated. Good afternoon. Today is Friday, May 21st and I'm kind of having a frustrating morning because I've been trying to film all day but there's construction going on outside and it's also really really windy and we have like these pillars um, in our balcony so every time like a gust of wind goes through it makes like this really obnoxious sound I yeah my mind is kind of all over the place right now <laughs> so today I have to submit a few things to manufacturing specifically for my patreon rewards i just finished my sticker design a couple of days ago so i have to submit that to the company today so that it can get produced in about a week and hopefully i can send them out by the end of the month i feel like i'm always running behind um honestly i don't know where the time is going because i swear may just started and now it's like practically june but before I do all that, I just want to share a few things that I got in the mail recently. Ah! Oh sh I actually ordered a rubber stamp from Sayabel on Etsy. And she's done a rubber stamp for me before for my previous collection when I did a university line. And I wanted to make... See, that's the sound that I'm talking about. Whenever like a gust of wind goes through, it makes this really, really loud sound that's really hard to ignore. And I'm trying not to be that annoyed but like I was saying as I was rudely interrupted by that gust of wind um, I ordered another stamp from that same company and I wanted to make my packaging process for patreon a lot more easier so I got a stamp of my PO box so I don't have to handwrite every single letter this time and this is how the stamp turned out I got a little wooden what do you call these? 
Mm, um, came with a little wooden handle, which is great. And it also has the stamp engraved at the top so you know what it looks like. And this is the rubber side. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It just has my logo and my P.O. box. It also came with a free ink pad, which is great because I was actually running out of ink. And this time I chose a red color because it matches with my logo. I also ordered a bunch of stamps from USPS.com because it's getting a little tiring having to go to the post office every month just to get them. So this time I ordered like seven months worth. So this should last me like up until the end of the year, hopefully. I basically just like went all out and bought a bunch of designs that I thought were really cute. Okay, so this is the final sticker design for my May Patreon rewards. And my patrons actually voted for their favorites in real characters, which is my Melody and Karomi. And luckily, they're my favorite characters too, obviously, as you can see by that keychain. Um, but yeah, I really loved how it turned out. I wanted it to be a little bit more on brand, so I had to throw in my iconic cherry design. And I also wanted it to feel a little bit more badass, so I had some pink flames around it. And right now I'm just preparing the design for print. I'm using the template that my manufacturer actually sent me, and I'm creating a little outline around the sticker so that they have a good idea of where to cut it. I think this is pretty much good to go, so I'm gonna save this as a PDF and then upload it to their website. So this is the website that I use. I mentioned it before in my previous videos. I use standout stickers and the minimum quantity is set at 125 so there are definitely going to be a lot of extras. I think the price is still really good for what they send you plus they have a lot of deals. I'm going to make them glossy because that's what I usually do and add this to my cart. Then I just upload the file here. I actually have a code for this luckily so... I get to save money. Oh my god, no, it's not valid. Okay, there. Free shipping. I'm gonna use priority mail because I need this ASAP Rocky. Yay! Just ordered my stickers. Now that the sticker has been sent off to manufacturing, I really, really need to sit down and start brainstorming concepts for this month's Patreon print. I already have a character in mind. It's going to be a Gretzico. And I was sort of thinking of putting her on like some music tour poster because the series is really music based and I just think it would be really fun. That's just the first idea that I had but I think I might just run with it. I'll probably start designing tonight so I'll post some updates of when I finish over the next couple of days. I pretty much have like three to four days to finish this and then I'll send this off to my local printer and it usually just takes a day to print and hopefully I'll have everything in my hands by the end of the month so I can ship out Patreon mail ASAP. Ah, before I do all that, I need to put some food in my tummy. I haven't eaten yet and it's 4 p.m. I definitely need to take better care of myself. I did drink tea and water, so at least I'm hydrated. But yeah, I don't think I'll be able to focus until I eat something. So yeah. <laughs> on a huge 
wholesale order. I'm actually working with the same company that ordered t-shirts from me a couple of months ago called Edge of Urge. And because my Inner Dreams and Weirdo t-shirts did surprisingly well in one of their shops, they went ahead and ordered double the amount of t-shirts this time around, which I am really grateful for. I'm happy that people love them enough and that they sold out because that means I get to do this again. I got all of my t-shirts screen printed from the same manufacturer that I've been working with for the past three years. They're based in Los Angeles and they always do an incredible job. I trust them 100% with all of my screen printing. They just arrived at my doorstep like yesterday. So right now I'm just going through inventory and just making sure that I have the right amount of t-shirts to send out. I also need to snip out all of the tags because I got the label screen printed on the back of the t-shirts. So there's really no need for them. And I also want to lint roll each of the t-shirts just to make sure that they're perfect and ready to go. There's like 70 to 80 t-shirts that I need to go through. So it's probably going to take me more than a few hours to finish. I want to finish it by midnight because I need to go to the UPS store tomorrow to ship it out. So yeah, maybe I should start being productive now. <laughs> I made some Korean spinach. I think there's like sesame oil, soy sauce, and sesame seeds in it. And garlic.
So today is Wednesday, June 2nd, and I just finished cleaning up my studio space. It's gotten so, so messy over the past couple of days. I feel like I've accumulated so much mess on the floor and on my tables. And because I need to work on finishing Patreon mail tonight, I thought I would tidy up a bit because it's so difficult to work on stuff when everything around you is really cluttered because your mind starts to get cluttered and then you start to stress out. So yeah, I wanted to get that out of the way. I also took a mini ukulele break, which was really nice because I feel like I haven't picked up my ukulele in what feels like forever. I used to play my guitar, play my ukulele, and sing like every single day. And it makes me a little sad that I haven't done that in a long time. So yeah, it was a really nice break. Heading to my mailbox now. Of this video if you've made it this far thank you so much for taking the time to watch my studio vlogs and i hope you've been enjoying them and getting to know me a little better if you want to see more from me don't forget to give this video a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye